Hey there, today we're going to be taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U with all of the different memory configurations I can set on this laptop. So we're going to be taking a look at 8 gigabytes of RAM, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now the 8 gigabyte configuration is going to be running at a 2 times 4 gigabyte configuration, so that is 2 4 gigabyte sticks. The 12 gigabyte configuration is going to be 1 4 gigabyte stick and 1 8 gigabyte stick. And then, of course, the 16 gigabyte configuration is going to be two 8 gigabyte sticks, and they're all running at 3200 megahertz. Now, here you can see the game running with the lowest in game graphic settings. We are using FSR at the ultra performance preset, and we are running with the high texture settings. Now, as you can see, there is definitely an improvement in performance as we go up in terms of RAM here. You can see that the 8 gigabyte of RAM configuration is really struggling here, it's falling apart. It's just just not going to be anywhere near a doable experience. Now, in all honesty, all of them aren't really giving us a great amount of performance, but already the drop-offs that we're seeing here seem pretty major since 12 gigabytes also sees a pretty significant drop in comparison to the full 16 gigabytes. Interestingly enough, though, the amount of RAM being used between the two of them isn't really that different, but there is a measurable difference in terms of your 1% lows in particular here. So I'm not 100% sure what is going on there. Of course, I also decided to take a look at the 8 gigabytes of RAM configuration running with the lowest texture setting as well to see if that can improve the performance. And it did improve it somewhat, but the 1% lows are still at single digit ranges. So it's still not a great experience. So overall, the game is just far too demanding for 8 gigabytes of RAM. I would definitely consider upgrading, though it seems like if you're on 12 gigabytes of RAM, you're also going to be in kind of a tough spot. I'm almost curious to see if 32 gigabytes of RAM could improve the performance in this, though it really didn't seem like it was using any more than 16 gigabytes of RAM. But anyways, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.